Hi there, this is Caro with ByteStand. This video will discuss the automatic inventory and price syncing, which are add-on features available in ByteStand. During the setup of this feature, keep in mind that the app can pull your FBA products available inventory quantities from Amazon along with your products list prices. And since you are watching this video, we are going on the assumption that you are looking to set up the ByteStand sync feature specifically for one marketplace. If you are a store that has connected multiple marketplaces in the app and you wish to sync inventory levels for the products in multiple marketplaces, additional guidance outside of this video will be needed. If that is the case, please take a look at our YouTube playlist and watch the video called Sync Setup for SKUs in Multiple Countries for customized guidance. After sharing that, let's go ahead and get started on the home page of the ByteStand app. Click the Sync button and you'll be brought to the Product Sync page. Setting up the Sync feature is a two-step process. You'll use this purple menu to navigate to either Sync Settings or the Product Sync page in the app. It's important to note that the app pulls your product listings from your product page and Shopify into these pages. Shopify will always be your master list and you will edit products and SKUs directly inside of Shopify. So let's go over the purpose of this sync settings page. You will select the products, if not all of them, that you would like the ByteStand app to sync the inventory and or the pricing from Amazon to Shopify for you. Notice that the location has been assigned to all of your SKUs. The location selection is pulled from your Shopify products page. If you change the product stocked at in Shopify, the next time the app syncs, the location of the product inside of the app will change as well. Next, stores that have connected one marketplace will see that the marketplace on their products has been selected for them. Stores that connected multiple marketplaces will need to manually select a marketplace for each product. And don't forget to check either sync inventory and or sync price for each FBA product you would like the app to sync. You can do this one at a time as shown on this video or use our bulk editor here. By selecting multiple products and clicking edit selected SKUs, then set your product sync rules and press save. Once you've set up your sync settings and saved them, use your purple menu to the right to navigate to your product sync page. This is your sync page where you can kick off the first sync of your products. You can select products to sync and then press sync SKUs and sync selected, or you can just sync all of your SKUs at once. Once you initiate your first sync, the automatic syncs will run without any further assistance. And remember, your sync settings that you set up prior will dictate which SKUs and data for said SKUs will sync in the app and inside of Shopify. Last but not least, depending on the amount of SKUs you are syncing, a sync can run anywhere from three seconds to a few minutes. After the sync is complete, you can see the changes in your product listings inside of Shopify. Now that you know the basics, let's talk about one last awesome setting on this feature. If you return to the sync setting page inside of the app, you will see a button that says advanced search and edit. Use this feature to make bulk sync adjustments to SKUs based off of SKU, product title, marketplace, or location. In this example, let's search for products assigned to the FBA shipping location inside the app. You will see that a specific number of SKUs are currently assigned to this location of FBA shipping already. And below, you can update the sync settings for those specific SKUs. So I want to turn inventory sync and price sync on for these specific products. I'm going to assign them to the same marketplace they exist in physically and keep them assigned to the location of FBA shipping. This is a great feature for stores with hundreds or even thousands of SKUs, which helps simplify this process. And now you are ready to start syncing your product's FBA inventory quantities and pricing from Amazon into Shopify. Of course, please reach out to us if we can assist in any way. Happy syncing!